um, just wanted to draw some comparison of where we are today to where we were um, just prior to the recession. Sure. Um, has our overall digest, has it come to the digest level that we've had prior to the recession? Yes, ma'am. Okay. We are exceeding where we were in 2008, 2009 at our peak levels. Okay. But the millage is lower than what it was in 2008, 2009. We were at 6.82 uh, in 2008, 2009, I believe, and then we are at 6.66 mills currently. Okay. Um, with that, um, one of my observations is that our limited uh, um, ability to take into account some of the requests doesn't necessarily stem from what we're collecting from our property digest, but due to the millage rate that we set. And um, the rate of 6.66, if you look at this slide, is um, significantly lower than um, what was in 2015. It's a significant drop. And um, part of um, my support for the 6.66 budget was um, my confidence in speaking with the chairman about our millage and that we may need to take a different approach with respect to our budget instead of just budgeting off of last year's millage to look at current requests and set our millage rate accordingly. Um, but my concern is tempered with the fact that just because a, we may want to adopt a different strategy as a board that the public's appetite to see that type of fluctuation in millage um, may not be there. And um, with, this significant, with this significant reduction, um, I'm very concerned about our ability to accommodate what I believe are not just future needs, but current needs with the current, um, with the current millage that's being presented. Um, so part of the conversation, I think, was reflected when we heard public safety speak today um, with respect to something as simple as our just one request, which is our body camera request, which has associated personnel request. I presume that those that additional personnel request is not covered by the budget that was brought forward today. That is correct. That's on the worksheet as an additional request, but is not currently reflected in the balanced budget. Okay. Another thing that concerns me is that um, in listening to FIRE present their strategic plan, which I thought was very helpful, I, I, my proposal is going to be when we look at our budget in future years that we always look at the accompanying strategic plan that the county has and department has so we can put those requests in context. Um, from um, 1990 to 2015, it was shared that our population has increased by 58%. Our households have increased by 52%. Our businesses have increased by 281%. And we are making a decision today based off of the strategic plan to be able to make some accommodations within that department based off of the millage that's set for the fire fund. Uh, my concern is that even while we are looking at that for that one particular department, that all agencies are dealing with the same population increase and um, additional burden on their services from these increases. And I just hope that we are mindful of that as we look at, we want to do what's right in, in being conservative, but if we are, but for us to be consistent in our approach that if we're going to be sensitive to understanding the additional burden for fire based off of that increasing demand, that we also be responsive to the increasing demand on other services, which I think are population driven, but some I think which are also driven by requests in public safety, that public safety, which we learned today, doesn't operate in a vacuum with public safety. There are increased technology costs. There's increased demand on fleet services. And with public safety, you know, our police and fire and emergency response, they are one element of public safety, but our other services also help to keep our county safe too. And they're, and just, um, um, I just 